everybody. Today we are going to talk about the four Edmonton Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math schools, otherwise known as STEM schools, that we have to offer. So if you are doing research right now, considering a relocation and looking at the school system for your kids, this is the video to watch. Make sure that you watch all the way to the end so you can find out all the information and make sure you don't miss out on one of the schools that might be perfect for your kid. Hey, my name is Leanna Martins. Thanks so much for watching. I'm a local real estate agent and we support relocations. We give you all the support and information you need to make your move with ease and confidence. I publish two videos a week, so make sure that you subscribe below. And if you have any questions, uh, just call, email, text, and we will respond and get back to you right away. So let's get on to our four Edmonton STEM schools. STEM program aims to develop research and problem solving skills increases students' understanding of science and tech, improves critical and creative thinking abilities, and empowers students to be leaders in the STEM field. Gives hands-on project-based learning with collaboration and problem solving. And the EPS school aims to develop students' research, problem-solving skills, enhance critical and creative thinking abilities. The program provides project-based learning opportunities and is available from K to 12, from junior high, middle school, and high school. Okay, so here is Elmwood School. This is a West End school. And this school has a Chinese bilingual program. So this is the only STEM school that is K to six. So in Alberta, we have elementary, junior high, and high school. So that's K to six, seven to nine, and 10 to 12. And I want to show you where that is. So I'm going to zoom this map out uh, a little bit. There you go. Uh, so you're not as familiar. If you see 149th Street, I am. I live right here, as a matter of fact. So almost very close. Um, and I'm just going to pull it a little bit further just so you get uh, kind of more of a bird's eye view of the entire city and the ring road for reference points. So you can see it's in the West End. And this is Hillcrest School. So Hillcrest is a junior high school and it's from grades seven to nine. And you can just scroll through the website and have a look to find out more about Hillcrest. And what you will notice is that Hillcrest School is directly south of Elmwood. So you've got two STEM schools in a very close vicinity. So let's zoom out here. Yeah. So again, it's in the West End. Both of these schools are in Elmwood. And interestingly enough, we have another really high, highly rated school right here in Jasper Park, uh, Stratford School, which you guys, I'm sure, uh, if you're researching schools, have probably heard of. It's got a very high academic focus. So there you have it for the West End STEM schools. And this is Thelma Shalafu. Uh, Thelma Shalafu is in the southeast corner of Edmonton. So let's have a look at where that is. And this is a uh, junior high, seven to nine STEM school. And this is where it is. So this will give you an idea of where is Thelma Shalafu. So if you ended up purchasing a house close to uh, the, say if you guys are looking at new home construction, there is a pocket of uh, uh, builds that are happening just east of Tamarack. And then also down here, Summerside, Ellerslie, just south of the Handale through here. Um, yeah, so that gives you an idea of where it is, right? So it's south of city center, southeast.
And this is JP Wagner. Now this looks to me like a pretty fantastic high school. So this is the last of the four STEM schools. It's high school, which is grades 10 to 12. Uh, so if your uh, son or daughter uh, are in those grades in that age, and you want a STEM school, this is the one. I would encourage you to go to this website. All the links are below. So you can really check it out. It looks like it's really interactive. Tons of information on the website. And here's the location of WP Wagner. So uh, this is a little more. It still is south, but it's south central. So the STEM schools were in the west end or in the southeast or south central location. This is the White Light Freeway here. And this is the Hen Bay. It's really important to understand when you're looking at schools, if your children uh, can gain access and they can indeed enroll and be accepted into the school and how important the boundaries of that school are and where you guys actually choose to purchase your home. Uh, so this is called the growth model and how it works is there's three different levels of enrollment and access to schools. So level one, they have open boundaries. So you can find out, depending on the school that you're looking at, what level they're currently at. And if it's a level one, no matter what, uh, you we have open boundaries in Edmonton, so you don't have to live in the area, the designated area, in order to go to that school. So for example, my daughter goes to an art school, we don't live downtown, she can go as long as there's room. Um, so if your school is designated level one, there's going to be no problems at all. Now, level two, uh, they're nearing capacity. And what happens is they will close attendance in the area boundary. So only residents in the designated attendance area uh, and the siblings can go as long as both students are returning to school. Uh, they don't accept students from outside the attendance area only if they've closed the boundaries. And so check and see if the school that you're interested in is in level two. And also if you're past pre-enrollment, which is April 14th, you need to get a hold of the school right away and find out what level in the growth model that school is, and then you can determine whether or not your child is going to be able to uh, gain access to the school. And then finally, we have level three. So level three, uh, they implement the lottery process for new residents, but it's only for designated uh, people who are in that area. So they only accept uh, students from the designated attendance area. So that means that you can't be living across the city and be accepted into that school because it's two capacity, number one, and it's a lottery process to get in. And so what that means, let's say that your child, you guys come in after pre-enrollment, you guys move in July, uh, it's in one of the newer communities, for example, and there is a, a sister school that you then go to, which is the next secondary school. And so of course they try to put you to the closest school uh, to the one that you have selected. Oh. So these are all people that are considering moving from Ontario or from BC who have kids like you guys. Well, oh, this is sick. Yeah. What's up? And they want to find out about the school system. That's cool. So what would you guys say? What do you guys think about Lorraine? Do you guys like Lorraine? your school? I love it. It's the best. That's if you nice. ever move here, just come to Lucian and I. Yeah. Come. So find a kid named Lucian. You can't see. They can't see. Well, they, Lucian, they're there. Lucian or Barrett, just come to those yeah. kids. These they guys are nice kids. We will help you with anything. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye, Say bye. Mm -hmm. Come and move. Okay. Come and move to Edmonton. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys are so strong. You're so big and strong. Uh, See you guys, we're gonna watch Facebook. Whatever it's called. See you guys. Have a great day. All right. Thank you to my special cameo guest stars, Lucian Heath, which is my son, and his buddy, Barrett. They go to Laurier Heights School, which is our community school, which is actually really close to the two STEM schools in the West End, uh, Hillcrest and um, Elmwood. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys got a ton of value out of the time that you spent and it helped you feel more familiar with the STEM schools, where they are, and just helping you guys make some better and more informed decisions. So if you guys have any questions or comments, put them below, because that's going to help me produce more content. And if you're wanting more schools, uh, yes, I'm going to be having uh, more schools filmed here pretty soon. So stay tuned. I, I produce and 
post two videos a week. Uh, subscribe below so you don't miss any of the cool content. And again, if you guys have any questions and you're considering a relocation and you want some support, call me and my team. That's really why we're here for you. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.